All right, guys, we fixed it. So, I'll show you what we did. I have no idea which one of these things actually fixed it because I did so many things yesterday, but we fixed it, runs good. Check engine lights off, codes are cleared. So, I will show you. Okay, so you were there when we rebuilt the PCV, put a new diaphragm in there. We know that's good. I checked this hose. This hose was good, no leaks internal. I'm thinking we got an internal vacuum leak or something. So I pulled the N80 valve, which connects here and I don't know if you can see it, down there. So I pulled that, checked it, it was good, no leaks internal. Okay, that's great. So I pulled the throttle body off. We got the N80 valve out. While I had that all apart, since I had to unhook all of this, I took the vacuum pump off and the high pressure fuel pump off, right? So all that got unconnected. And our oxygen sensor down there, wait, it's right there. Our oxygen sensor. So it was plugged in, but it came apart real easy. So maybe it wasn't all the way plugged in, I don't know. but. Fixed the oxygen sensor, rebuilt the vacuum pump, put the N80 valve back on there, got that all hooked up, got that transmission where it's not leaking. When I put this all back together, fire it right up. One thing I did discover, if I don't plug the dipstick tube, then we have an issue. So something with the dipstick tube, but we got it all fixed, so good to go. All right, so now that it's fixed, we get to go to the fixing up part. So let's take a look at what we got, figure out what we're gonna do. All right, so first off, I know I gotta deal with all these plastics. A lot of these need cleaned up and I'm probably gonna put some of that shiny car stuff on there. We got that. I got this bumper that definitely needs to get sanded down so that we can repaint it. Obviously we'll hit the wiper blades while we're at it. I got a big dent in the fender here. I got whatever the heck is going on here. And then on the other side, we have that dent right there that I'm gonna try and do paintless dent on. Top of that, we got the brakes. Take care of that. Um, probably do the back brakes, get those dolled up. And then we'll see what we're doing about the rest of the paint. I wanted to do something with the headlights, customize those a little bit, might be changing my mind. So we may just clean them up and clear them, make those beautiful. So I'm going to get some stuff pulled apart. We're going to get stuff cleaned up where I can work on it. And then we'll go from there. So put you guys up where you can see, we'll get some things cleaned up. Oh boy, let's take it one step at a time. All right, so a small change of plan. We have a broken tab, this goes on here. Rather than have to buy a new one of these, I'm gonna try and just plastic weld that back on there. We'll add a little reinforcement, make her nice and solid, get that welded back together. Because I've got some other stuff to plastic weld, we'll just do that. We'll get some plastic welding done tonight. Maybe that'll be it. Maybe we'll get to where we can wipe these down and get some of that shiny car stuff on them. Right, guys we got our dipstick we got this in we got these in obviously the headlights 
I got to figure out how these little axle covers go in. I thought I had it, but when I tried to put them in last night, that was a joke. So we got to figure that out. We got to get those windshield wipers blacked out and we're going to work on all those trim pieces. So right now I'm going to get the stuff. We're going to get these trim pieces all shined up, looking beautiful. Would you look at that? Them things look brand new. And these ones too. It's amazing. And since we're soaking this with the oven cleaner trick, I learned my lesson yesterday. I got some of that oven cleaner on my hands. Yeah, get a inadvertent chemical peel. That's not very good. So that's soaking. We'll blast that off in a few minutes. In the meantime, we'll get some more done in the engine compartment. So most of those trim panels that we just cleaned up go across here and protect the front end. There's not too much left in here that I can do anything with to dress it up. The engine cover is going to go over all this. So it's basically just the air box. Uh, yep. And then otherwise, it really needs a good wash. All right. Look at that. Looking good as new. Since we're doing some purple highlights, I'm going to re-silver these. And then put the purple candy over the top of that. So that those will look nice and candy chrome purple uh, to match everything else. Speaking of, here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna black this out. We're gonna black that out. And I'm definitely gonna try and black this out. And then this, since it shows through those big rims, I'm gonna do that in the candy purple too, just because, right? Just for giggles, because it'll be something different. I think it'll be kind of fun. So we'll do that all the way around, all four calipers. We'll get all four discs cleaned up, blacked out. And then the dust shield, cleaned up, blacked out, uh, and I'm debating if we decide to go full sand and we put the glow under here, whether I want to do rings or just put a little rock light up here and just have it shine underneath of there. So I don't know. You guys think about it. Leave me a comment what you think. It's getting a little dark and I only have a little bit, but I think I'm going to try and get this out. I'm going to get out my little uh, hammer set and see if I can't just tap that back into position, get that dent out. Right, guys she's all back together looking fancy I'm still gonna do the purple there but we'll do that when we're doing the calipers we got a little body work to do here we got the body work over there obviously we're gonna do something about this bumper honestly this one's pretty buggered up I'm debating whether I just buy a new one or we fix this one so we'll give it a minute obviously I'm gonna get new grills we got all the trim pieces what I'm trying to decide now is do I put the hood back on because we got all this paint work to fix on the hood and a big old dent right there which is totally gonna suck so we got that but then you guys tell me leave a comment should we black these out and get rid of that orange let me know what you think could be pretty sick but this is where we're at mostly back together time to start customizing First up, I'm gonna get after these brakes like I've told you a hundred times already. So let me set you up where you can see. We'll start busting it out. 
I'm on the fence about whether I'm going to pull the calipers apart, drain them of the fluid, then paint them, or if I'm just going to clean them up, mask them off, basically paint them while they're on the car. Thinking about it. I'll let you know what we figure out. guys so as you can see I ended up having to take the whole thing apart anyway but that's because I couldn't get to a lot of stuff I wasn't able to hang it upright it just was better to take it apart good thing I did those caliper pins those definitely are gonna need a loop so yeah it's probably a good thing we took it apart anyway plus now we can bleed it get some fresh fluid in there some high quality brake fluid because who knows what the previous mechanic had in there um, I didn't go for too super good of a paint job on the black where I did the knuckle and all that. I just wanted to black it out so that it's not, you know, bright silver behind those black wheels. So I wasn't too worried about doing like a super, super good, you know, paint job in there. But I'm happy with it. Tomorrow we'll uh, finish up that brake disc and we'll get some paint on that. We'll get this thing put back together and we'll see how it looks. Stay tuned. Alright guys, that's one down. I'm gonna go work on the other three and we'll catch you back up after, but what do you think? I mean, in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. We'll get the wheel slapped on there and we'll see what else you think, but it's just enough, right? Everything's blacked out, looks good. I think it's nice. Alright guys, there it is with the wheel on it. Zoom out. See, it's just that little flash. I still think I might get some caliper covers. I don't know. Might make it look a little bit nicer. We'll see. But there's one down. Obviously, I got three more that I'm working on. We'll get this figured out yet. All right, guys. Here's the last one. So we'll get this popped on the car, and we're good to go. All right. It got dark on us last night. Now I'm off to my regular job. See? See? Even in the back, it looks good. Just that little pop of color. And this one over here, I think you can see the vision. So that's it for this week. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share on your socials, and we will see you next week. No idea what we're going to do, but hey, maybe we'll do body work. Maybe we'll do, I don't know, we'll see. But we did decide to buy a new bumper because that other one was hashed. So we got some excitement coming there. Maybe we'll work on the Civic. I don't know. Stay tuned.